You'll want to grab the CPU by the edges to avoid touching the contacts on the bottom. I don't pick it up by the metal edges of the IHS. I find it too difficult to hold. Next, I like to line up the triangle on the CPU with the one that's on the plastic cover just to get an idea of where it's going. Next, I'll open up the socket cover to take a look at the pins and get ready to install. It takes quite a bit of pressure to open the tension arm. You push down and out and hold on to it so it doesn't spring up. The pins look good, so now it's time to put in the CPU. I like to do it in two motions, pick it up with one hand and then grab it with the other. And I bring it in from the RAM side because there's more room to work with. We also want to make sure the triangle and the top notch are lining up. Gently, I aim for the side and the corner, line up the notches, and slowly roll it down my fingers into the socket. Once you're confident that everything's lined up, now you'll need to put an unsettling amount of pressure on the tension arm. This is just the way it's designed. You won't break anything, and it'll click into place installing your CPU.